assign targets. Avoid being killed. What's going on, Gamers Beverage? I'm Tiberius, and I'm bringing you an Assassin's Creed Revelations multiplayer session of that match on Antioch Dusk. I am playing as a Sentinel using disguise and poison. In the beginning, I will later on switch to my usual deathmatch profile set, which consists of um, disguise and decoy. Now, let the games begin. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded something for Gamers Beverage. I believe my previous video was back in April. Yeah, I believe so. So, I believe an introduction is in order for those of you who don't know who I am and so on. So yeah, I'm Tiberius. I am mainly a PC player because I play on the Xbox as well. It's just I only play Brotherhood on the Xbox. So yeah, I am mainly a PC player as you can tell by looking at the uh, left hand corner of, uh, of the screen near the abilities bar. Yeah, those little buttons usually indicate that I'm using a keyboard and a mouse. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty interesting as well. Yeah, so I am a PC player and I am uploading mainly Assassin's Creed videos. Yeah, I'm trying to upload single player and multiplayer as well. But we'll get to that. Yeah, so it's been uh, a time near April, I guess, where I lost interest in playing this, uh, this game, Revelations. And mainly the multiplayer part of it so I started doing something a little bit different bringing some variety for my channel I I feel like I should bring something else because I really I really believe that it was the right moment to bring it yeah so I have a little thing called the life of an assassin on my channel it's not your average not your usual uh, world for playthrough let's play and so on uh, it's something a little bit different. It's a different approach to a single player uh, game, which is Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2, well, basically it's Ezio's life, but it's not, as I said, the usual kind of wall through. Uh, it's common, it's commentary free, has no commentary, it's just the sort of like a, mm, a movie out of Ezio's life. At least that's what I thought when I when I started making it. That's what I wanted to achieve at least. So for now it has 18 episodes. So if you are really an Ezio fan, you should check it out. I believe it's pretty interesting and, and it's pretty different. So yeah, okay, short short break. What's going on here? As you probably saw, I poisoned that guy. So you may wonder yourself, why? In the world, would you intercept your own poison? Well, I actually intercepted that because I got an easy focus skill. You know, I believe that getting a um, a focus skill is a lot harder than getting a poison kill. Well, at least j that's just me. That's what I believe. And you know, when you poison someone, he's basically unable to do things like, you know punch you and you know maybe using abilities but they can punch you that's that's what, that's what usually happens because you know shit happens in ACR part of my language so yeah it was an easy uh, focus skill because I'm going for extreme variety in this match and I will get it at some point you'll you'll probably notice <laughs> okay back uh, to my uh, info thingy yeah, and I lost interest in this monster and I brought this The Life of an Assassin, you know, series. But later on I said, hey, I started with multiplayer videos. I should, I need something that will eventually bring me back to it. So that's how I came up with this uh, subscriber challenge thingy. Yeah, I needed something to bring me back to this multiplayer and I, and I thought that, hey, this is the best way to do it because I also manage to interact with my subscribers you know they usually give me crazy ideas <laughs> uh, for me to mess with in the multiplayer so honestly that brought me back to this uh, uh, game this multiplayer at least because you know single player is always awesome 
yeah, that's basically what it is. And you know, the subscriber challenge is basically called Templar Challenge. You know, it's the usual subscriber challenge you all know, I'm pretty sure. I just needed that to bring me back in the game. And yeah, that's basically what it is. Okay, with that being said, I believe that's the end of um, my little background info. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, as you can see, I am playing that match. That match is my main uh, game mode in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, I am basically a free-for-all kind of guy. I enjoy playing free-for-all modes more than playing team modes because... As for team modes, I believe chest capture is my favorite. And I am... And I'm disappointed that do not bring it back in AC3. But what can I do? Maybe it will be part of a DLC or something like that. I, I believe we'll have to wait and see what happens. Oh, holy crap! Did you see that? That was complete proness right there. I'm simply amazed. These guys are too good. Yeah, so talking about the players of Assassin's Creed Revelations in general, you know, this video is mainly about sending a message. And the message is not everything burns. Uh, plus five respect points if you understand what I'm saying. If you get a reference. <laughs> and that's a cool stun. I believe so. So right here is the point where I get my extreme variety ground off finish. the ground finish. Get mad. Get mad. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Getting extreme varieties off ground finishes. That's... That's just how I roll. Yeah, so this video is mainly about sending a message and it's about the state of our community because it's been a small, you know, uh, difference. It's been a small thing that happened between Brotherhood and Revelations as for this community. And the players in general, I'm not talking about those who upload videos, I'm talking about the players of Assassin's Creed multiplayer in general. We all, many of us at least, said that, you know, oh my god, Revelation is such a bad game and, you know, it's a piece of, you, you understand what I'm saying, I don't want to say it out loud, but, you know, saying that Ubisoft created this mode pair which is kind of bad, to be honest, it's not unplayable, it's not, it's not rage inducing, for me at least, it's not. It has bugs, it has glitches and so on and so forth, but it's still playable, I mean, for me at least. <laughs> yeah, so when you're saying that, you know, Ubisoft created this bad multiplayer, it's not entirely true, from my point of view at least. I beg to differ, and I believe that we, the players, have half of the fault for this uh, bad, uh, you know, multiplayer, because I believe offensive smoke bomb and, you know, bullshit like that mainly comes from the players not from the game itself you know it's a feature in the game this smog bomb this doesn't mean you have to offensive smog bomb everyone so that's just my point of view right now when we are at the big at end of revelations we can basically draw the line and say this and that about the game because it's pretty much dead the multiplayer for me at least so, yeah, that's what I believe, that the players bear half of the fault when we're saying that, you know, this game is bad. That's just me. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. It's just Ubisoft's fault or we are all responsible for this, for what happened, you know, with the fancy mob bomb and so on and so forth. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Yeah, that's pretty much it about uh, my small rant. <laughs> Basically, that's what this was. And 20 seconds left, we're pretty close to the end of the match. And, you know, it's been a quite an interesting match because it did not have as many offensive smoke bombers as I usually encounter. Because, you know, that's just life. And I was lucky, I have to say. Yeah, that's pretty much it of our match. 
you have finished first. The lady has to agree with me. Thank you very much. As usual, thank you Maddie to us for letting me upload this video on Gamers Beverage. It's it's quite amazing. Thank you for letting me make a return to this amazing community. And that's pretty much it. Check out my channel and remember, after you like, favorite and share this video, you have my permission to die. And remember, when AC3 comes out, rise as a player. I'm out. Bye bye.